Hello everyone, I'm Argamowit, and welcome to part three of my Mego tutorial. In the first part we learned how to set up your model in Vroid, the second part was some kind of in-between, like getting the blend shapes on and how to export the accessories from Vroid. Um, so if you haven't seen those, please go check those out because we're now about to get into... Uh, Blender. I hate Blender. I need you to understand, I fucking hate Blender, okay? <sighs> Alright, <clears throat> anyways... <laughs> I'm I'm done stalling. Let's get into this. All right, so I'm gonna assume that you know some basics, like how to move around Blender. Uh, I did try to add a little thing in the corner to show you what keys I'm pressing, but it never tracked mouse clicks, and I could not figure out how to do it. Anyways, so you're gonna need um uh two packs installed in here, and one is going to be Cat's Blender, and the other one's gonna be uh, VRM and Porter. Yeah. And I'm using Blender like 2.9, maybe one, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I couldn't find the, the thing. I'm sure it's somewhere. I'm, I'm just dumb. All right. So you go into like properties and then you can like install and it's just going to show you it like this thing to pop up and you just find the zip file. But you don't unzip these things, you know, it's fine. It unzips itself. So then you just click what you want and then you hit install. You make sure that it's checked, and then you just kind of close it out, and it should appear over in, like, your toolbar on the side. Alright. That being said, let's, uh, open up, uh, import VRM, and we're gonna start with the tail. Now, let me tell you something, okay? When I did the- this technique for coffee, it worked just fucking fine. When I did it for this model, it had a fucking issue. I don't know what the issue is, per se. Um... But either way, I'm going to tell you how I fix it afterwards. So first thing we need to do is we need to get rid of all these goddamn colliders. Um, so I'm in the object mode and I'm just going to right click and delete. And then over here, uh, everything below that says hair 001, so it should be hairs, and then it should say all these like bones. We're going to delete all those too. So just select it, right click and delete. And you can just like select and shift and select all and you know, delete. Um, and make sure you get the secondary too. Don't, don't leave that shit. Yep. And the, the face. We don't need the face. We, we just really want the tail. Um, so now we're going to need to delete the uh, armature that's here. So select the armature and then go over to edit mode, which is over the top drop down right there. Um, and then I just like select it and then I just hit delete on my keyboard and delete bones. And you scroll wheel in to kind of like see what you want and then just move it over, you know, click delete and delete <clears throat> and i'm basically going to do this for the whole armature and delete and now we just have a goddamn tail perfect um so at this point hold on i'm gonna pause right here all right look look two things i should have done at this point or at least one thing i should have done at this point is you see where it says hair zero zero one uh, if you double click that, you can rename your armature. You can rename it from hair001 to, uh, tail, and which is what I suggest doing. Double click it for tail, and then we'll open it up. You should also see something that says hair001.baked. Double click that and name it to tail.baked. Or whatever the fuck it is. If it's wings, if it's tail, if it's a big toe, I don't know. I don't care what the fuck it is. Name it what it is because it'll make it easier for you after the fact. Uh, yep, let's go. <laughs> Alright, so I, I went into object mode and um, I, I select the armature again. I don't know. And then I open up the cat's tool over here and you can kind of, uh, you know, see the cat's tool. Also, if you click on like um, uh, viewpoint display, you can click in front and then the armature will show up on the, uh, in front of it. Right? Right. So, uh, now what you're going to do is you click on it and then you click start pose mode. And now you can, like, move and pose your, uh, items, which is what I did for Coffee's wings, so they move when 
she talks and like for his tail it moves just a little bit and basically you're gonna move to where you want it and then you're going to um do pose to shape key and once you do a type name's gonna come up and it's gonna want you to like name your new lens shape um and then when you're done you can hit stop pose and it'll reset it which is usually what you know I did, and then, you know, you just go through and, um, make a new pose and a uh, new blend shape, and you just keep making as many as you want. Um, I didn't make too many, I just made a few, I wasn't looking to overdo anything. Um, but really it's on you how you want to do this, I don't really fucking care. Um, yeah. Tail down. <laughs> you can see me right in the corner. I really wish it tracked the, the mouse. I spent like an hour trying to find a program to do that. I could, had no, no goddamn luck. It, I did my best you guys, okay? <sighs> Alright, well, so you get the general idea. Let's kind of jump ahead a little bit. Now, if you want to kind of check your blend shapes, um, if you click on, well, so, Mine says like hair zero zero one, but you know, you're you're gonna want to click on the um, uh, like upside down triangle thing, and it's gonna see the blend shapes. And you can use uh, the slider there to kind of see it move and how it looks. And you can also adjust it from there, which we'll see when I do the wings, which I'm gonna do those next. But once you're done with uh, your uh, Blend shapes, you can export this as an FBX. But anyways, um, so I forgot to mention last time that when I uh, started, I deleted the lights and camera because I don't really want them. Uh, I'll do something else to the um, when I'm importing them later on. But for the most part, we're going to do the same thing here that we did with the last one, and that's delete the um, colliders, and we're going to delete all this like hair that we're not using. Again, I should have renamed uh, hair 001 because it got a little confusing when I brought it into Unity and I had three hair 001s. <laughs> Which may have been like the reason for my issue, but I, I don't know. Um, speaking of, uh, let me talk to you about uh, an issue I had. So when I had originally brought these into Unity, um, I did the same thing I did for like Copy's Wings. Um, I wasn't able to export it if I used any of the blend shapes from this. Um, I then had to go back in and delete the vertex groups and the modifiers before it let me do it. And I don't really understand why, but... Um, also, in this one, I'm currently adjusting where I want these... Um, uh, the armature. So I just grab a point I want, and then I just hit G to move it to where I want it to on the wings. Because, you know, sometimes it's not exactly where you want because this was designed for hair, not goddamn wings. But yeah, it was just like adjusted slightly, you know, where you want it. Um, and you can even like split bones too, which I did later on, but you're going to have to um, kind of re-weight the bones. Yeah, and I just do automatic weights because I'm fucking lazy and look, I hate Blender, you guys. I hate... Blender! Um, and for this one I do the same thing. I start to um, uh, adjust the different blend shapes. I do that and then I can export it. All right, at this point when I'm checking out the uh, blend shapes, because I noticed when I was doing them, some of them looked a little weird. Like, you can see how, like, a little jank a couple of those wings are. Because, again, this was hair. It's not meant to do this. So what I did is I uh, had it up at 1, uh, the value at 1, and then I go over into edit mode, and then I'm just going to move the vertices to where I uh, want them. So, like, over here you can see, like, this is kind of... Pulled off, so I just grab it and then I hit like G to move it, and I try to make it look okay-ish. You could probably do better to make it look good, perfect, or whatever. But for the most part, I just, I, I just didn't. I don't know. 
it was I did enough to where it looked fine and like this one I'm having trouble getting it because it like went inside so I used like the uh, wire mode in order to grab it and then I hit the C button which allows you to kind of select why I don't fucking know and then I just select which one I want I uh, right click to get out of that mode the C mode and then I just hit G to move it and then I repeat and do the same thing over and over again there's probably an easier way to do this. I don't know how. This is fucking tedious as shit. I fucking hate it. I hate Blender. Did you know I hate Blender? I fucking hate Blender. <laughs> Some people are so good at Blender and I'm so jealous. I just don't have the energy to learn a new program. I'm, I'm about to start to learn Live 2D again because I only know Cubism 3 and I just got Cubism 4 and I want to learn it for animation purposes, not for VTubing rigging purposes, although I suppose I could. But, anyways, uh, so this tedious part of just moving things around to get it to where, or how you like it, you know? Uh, so yeah. Alright, once I get it to where I think I like it, I go back into object mode, and then I just kind of test this out again to see how I like it. And it's, uh, it's, it's fine for me. It's good enough for me, you know? Is it perfect? No! Do you have an issue that it's not perfect? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I give no shits whatsoever. Um, I've literally saw someone uh, post online about how my my viroids are to t are terrible, and I'm like, and of course they use the example of a viroid I made in 45 minutes. <laughs> I'm like, all right, get the fuck out of here. Anyways, um, yeah, so pretty much. Uh, that's another wing down. You know, I delete it and I'm gonna do the, the third wing. And you should probably save. I didn't save between any of those. For me, this part, I wasn't really, like, whatever. I didn't care. Alright, so, uh, you, you know this. We gotta get rid of all this shit. Again, you should have named your stuff. I didn't name my stuff. Maybe that was my issue again. I saw, now I, I kinda wonder if that was the issue. I don't know. I guess I could go back in and try it and see if that's actually the issue because I didn't really... D deleting the modifiers kind of like messed up another thing I wanted to do, but eh. You know what? It is what it is, and as long as I was able to export it, because trust me, I spent like two days trying to export the goddamn thing and I could not figure out why. Since I applied literally so much onto the damn thing and its error message made not a lick of sense. Um, and I even had someone who is a game dev look at it and I was like, yeah, I don't know. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> but I did my best. All right. So for this one, I don't really like where these things are placed and I wanted to add a couple more bones. So we're going to do, we're going to do that. And I'm going to show you that. Um, so, you know, I G to move it to kind of where you want some of these bones to be. Um, yeah. So we're just going to kind of move these around. You select which one you want and you move it. Uh, again, I'm in edit mode after selecting the armature. Um, yeah, I'm just going to line it up. And at this point I'm thinking I kind of want this divided in half, like that big long one. I guess I could leave it really, but I don't know. I, I'm needy and like I wanted it a certain way. Um, and if I didn't have it curved like that, I probably would have just left it like that. But ultimately, like, I wanted to, uh, do it, I, I wanted to, like, split those bones up. So, um, I select what I, I, the one I want, and I hit W. Um, in edit mode, and right click and do subdivide. I think that's how you do it. I don't know, that's how I did it. And then I grabbed the uh, point I, I wanted to move and I moved it to uh, like where I wanted it on the wings to kind of have like that a little bit of curve, you know. So at this point I'm in object mode and I select the wing and then shift select on the armature. And then I do control P in order to parent um, the object. Uh, and it should work? Yeah, so you can see it's kind of working here. Um, so uh, you parent with uh, automatic weights. I'm sorry. 
I kind of forgot that. Yeah. Uh, and now you can kind of move all these around and it should all be kind of where it thinks it belongs to. And there's a way that you can kind of adjust it. Um, but this was good enough for what I was looking to do. Um, and now at this point I'm just making uh, my blend shapes, my shape keys again. Um, in here they're called shape keys, blend shapes, shape keys, whatever, the same thing. Um, so yeah, uh, and then I'm gonna just go through this and uh, do that. And of course once you're done you just um, export as FBX. Um, yeah. So anyways, I hope this uh, tutorial has helped you out. We learned about three things in this one, which was um, making shape keys, um, how to adjust your shape keys or just adjust the meshes on a shape key if it's all fucked up, and how to reparent bones or split bones and all that other shit. I don't know. Man, we did a lot in this one and all of it was in Blender and I fucking hate Blender. Did you know I hated Blender? Give a like if you hate Blender. Give a dislike if you hate Blender. I don't really give a care which one you fucking do. Do something. Comment if you hate Blender. I hate Blender. Comment if you like Blender. I hate Blender. I really do. It's it's not a bad program. Look, don't get me wrong. Blender's not a bad program. It's just... It's not... User-friendly. It's not beginner-user-friendly. It's not even user-friendly. It's like, it's just... An inconvenient... Like... Inter Anyways, I'm not gonna rant on fucking Blender anymore. <laughs> we're next part. We're doing more Blender work. Yay! <laughs> Anyways, if this tutorial has helped you out, um, please give it a like. Uh, if you want to see more from me, then um, please subscribe. You know, or if you want to see even more from me, I'm over on Twitch. Uh, go over there, give me a follow. It's sargamawitch.twitch.tv uh, 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 slash sargamawitch. Whatever the fuck, man. I don't even know. It's it's fucking almost one in the morning. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'll um, I'll see you in the next tutorial where we learn how to layer clothes. All right, see you there. Bye.